story I can't wait to see. Pigtown is getting some attention on social media, but it's not the swine capturing people's attention. The spotting of goats has you talking, wanting to know who they belong to. One in particular was seen wearing some sort of fashionable headwear. WMAR 2 News, Dave Detling has more on the animal sightings near Carroll Park. Well, that goat was last seen at the gas station behind me. It's no runway, but because of his fashion sense, he's generating a lot of buzz. Get this goat an agent. This picture snapped while it was crossing the parking lot of a Pigtown gas station has a lot of people commenting on his hat choice. He had a fedora on his head, a khaki fedora with a black uh, band around it. And he was just, he, you know, he was just walking. The goat was strutting his stuff along with another four-legged friend. His owner seen out of frame. Neighbors say it was enough to stop traffic. I was actually driving and I almost crashed because I couldn't believe it was a guy walking down the street with two goats. One of them was white and small. The oven was uh, possibly grown. I saw the goats just sniffing and stuff. Like, they just look like they about to be something. The picture was shared to social media and has since been inspiring laughter and smiles all across Baltimore. I stopped at a traffic light and I turned on Facebook and I saw the goats in Pigtown. I live in Pigtown. I was like, only in Pigtown could this happen. And that he was wearing a fedora. I mean, come on now. Only in Baltimore do you have a goat walking down the street. Not one, but we have two goats. I better not see that goat running around here. I'm going to be terrified. But I like his horns. His horns are like, I like that. <laughs> not only does the goat have a thing for fashionable hats, but apparently it likes chips. People now want to know who he belongs to and what will he be wearing next. Man's his goat's best friend. That's what it looked like to me. He was he, he was style, He was way more stylish than the guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the guy. I'm sorry, but he was killing you with the fedora. He was he was a botman on him. And while people say they see the goats walking alone, they do belong to a local Arabber. We did find him on social media. As for the goats, they go by the names Hank and Jill. Reporting in Big Town, Dave Detling, WMAR Two News.